How you guys doing? My name is Matt Belducci, high performance business coach and entrepreneur. And today what we're gonna cover is how to start a business with no capital. So luckily for me, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 19 years old. And basically, so that's been over a decade of time that I've been growing businesses. And I've actually grown four different companies. I have one right now that I'm growing that I just started um, about two and a half months ago that has hit almost $50,000 in revenue, which is really, really exciting for me. But when I was 19 years old, um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I started up a small painting company and ran it to about $80,000 in revenue in five months. And that was when I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And at that point I had zero capital. And then uh, after I ran that business, I did take the money from that company and I helped fund the launch of my marketing business, which ended up doing half a million dollars. Now, unfortunately for me, after I grew that business to half a million, it completely collapsed on me. I had about $30,000 in student loans and $10,000 in credit card debt. And I did make good money, but I invested it all right back into my business at that time. So I decided to go into the corporate world and I needed to launch a business again, I had zero capital. So what I did was I basically jumped into a franchise model um, and started up a construction business over the last four years, I grew my company with zero capital, actually in debt from zero to $2.6 million. And I just uh, sold that company, which is really, really exciting. And so what I wanna focus on with you guys, if you're watching this video, that means that you're an entrepreneur specifically looking to start up a business with no money. And what I found is that a lot of people stop themselves. So I love my father to death. He's the greatest man ever. He's a hard worker. My dad um, would always say, Matt, I wish I started a business. I wish I started a business. And he had a side company where he did uh, does windows on cars but he never really took the leap or the, the risk to, uh, to start up a company. And so what I wanna give you guys today is four main tips that are gonna help you basically become an entrepreneur even if you have no capital. So the first thing you have to do is get clear on what you want in a business and why you wanna start it. If you don't have that clarity, you're not gonna start your business. Tip number two is you have to be willing to put the work in. You have to be willing to go all in. Now, yes, there have been studies out there that say if you work over 55 hours a week, you're gonna have a diminishing return. And you know what, that's probably true. But in the beginning of entrepreneurship, you have to be obsessed about your business. And what that looks like is that you have to be willing to burn the light at both ends. And I was able to do that, but I also, while doing that, was systemizing out my company. So if you're out there right now and you're like, listen, Matt, I don't have the money, then guess what? Since you don't have the money, you have to use time. If you have money, then yes, you can buy time, okay? Which has been awesome. But what you have to understand is that if you don't have the money, you have to, have to, have to grind it out which means you're gonna be working seven days a week, you're gonna be sacrificing, you're gonna be potentially not hanging out with your family and friends. Is that worth it to you? And you have to figure that out if you wanna uh, run a successful company. Now again, I'm not telling you you have to do this forever, and honestly, I don't want you to. I would prefer never, ever, ever again to work 100 hours a week ever again, but I'll tell you right now, it was worth every single hour that I put in because it allowed for me to have the capital to start my new company, which now I put in even less hours into and make more money per hour. Okay. So again, if you're an entrepreneur out there and that's, um, and you really want to start a business, you have to understand that that's a huge, huge key component is you have to be willing to put in the time. All right. Tip number three, we already talked about tip number one, which you need to get clear. We talked about tip number two, which is you need to be willing to put the work in tip number three is you have to be willing to take the risk. So I want you to ask yourself right now, if you have that idea that you really want to start and you don't know how to go about it, what's the worst that can happen? So let's just say hypothetically right now you're watching this video and you make $60,000 a year, okay? Or maybe you make $100,000 a year. Congratulations, you're a six-figure earner already. A lot of times that actually holds people back. So when you sit down and you look at your income, I want you to realize right now that $100,000 made as an entrepreneur and $100,000 made in the corporate world are not equal at all. Reason is, is that you get tax breaks. So if you look at it from that perspective, you actually need to make less money. So if you're trying to make 100 grand and replace your income, you don't actually need to make $100,000. You really only need to make about $65,000. And if you do that in your business, you're gonna live a much better lifestyle and you're gonna be doing the thing you love and the passion you have, right? So if you really wanna start a business without capital, you have to look, sit down right now and I want you to take out your uh, pen and paper and write out the expenses you have. And what you might have to do for one year, maybe two years, is decrease your output. So what that might look like is you might have to get rid of cable TV, right? You might have to not eat out all the time. 
you might have to be very strategic on where you put your money. Are you willing to do that? If you're not, then entrepreneurship is not for you, right? But if you're willing to do that for two years, right, or three years or whatever it takes, then what you're gonna find is that you're gonna love your life and eventually your lifestyle is gonna go right back to where it is and surpass it ex exponentially. So for me, I was working in the corporate world after I failed in my second company and I was like, well, do I go back into entrepreneurship? By the way, like I said, I was $40,000 in debt and I took a massive pay cut from when I jumped from the corporate world back into my first business. I actually cut my income in half. All I did was I decreased the output I was spending and yeah, it wasn't great. I was living in a smaller apartment. I was spending less on that. I wasn't eating all the delicious food that I was used to, right? But ultimately what ended up happening is now I can go and I live in a great house. I have everything I want. I have the car I want, all those different things. And it's because I took the risk for two years. I was willing to decrease my output to a long-term increase my uh, income. Tip number four is huge. Without this, you will not be able to be an entrepreneur. You have to, have to, have to learn how to be a salesperson. Without sales, you will not grow your business. I notice it all the time where you get somebody who wants to be an entrepreneur and they even start as an entrepreneur, but they're willing to pick up the phone and call somebody to ask them for business. Or they actually get a prospect in front of them and they're, they, they sissy out and they don't ask for the sale. So what I tell everyone, if all you do in business is learn how to sell, you can start up whatever business you want. I am very, very confident right now that I can go walk into any company and help them grow based on the fact that I know sales. And so there's multiple different ways to learn sales. First and foremost, you can go work for a sales company, right? And if you need to take a year to learn sales before you start your business, I highly recommend it. Or to see if you even like it. Maybe you're not a great salesperson and guess what? That doesn't shouldn't stop you from starting a business, but just realize you're gonna have to hire a salesperson, which is gonna cost you money. So if you don't have money, you better learn sales. Number two is you should read as many sales books as you can. Here's the truth is that right now you can go on YouTube and you can watch hundreds of sales videos. You can go get hundreds of sales books and you can do it for no money. It's all free. You can go to the library right now and get Grant Cardone's books. You can go get Spin Selling. There's a lot of different books out there that you can focus on when it comes to sales. And I highly recommend that. But you need to study the art of sales and persuasion. If you can't sell or you can't hire a good salesperson, you're never going to grow your business. I love a quote that I read in a great book by Brendan Bruchard, which is when you have a dream and you tell everybody about it. So say that you want to start a business. Guess what you're going to deal with? you are gonna deal with the village idiots. And here's what the village idiots are gonna tell you. They're gonna tell you, why are you leaving your job? You're not gonna be able to do that. Are you crazy? It's a risk. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to sacrifice, right? And what you're gonna find is that the village leaders are gonna come out and help you get there, but you have to sift through all the village idiots first. And as an entrepreneur and business owner, I've dealt with that when I was younger. Now the good news is I've surrounded myself with other high achieving people. And when I decide to take risks, it's never a risk because they're all backing me up and they're all cheering me on. But what I've noticed in the regular world out there, if you haven't been an entrepreneur before and you have no capital, everyone's gonna tell you it can't be done. You have to, have to, have to surround yourself with the right people. So here's a couple of real quick tips for you. Go join a networking group. Go join a mastermind of other entrepreneurs. Go network at different free networking events. Go get around other people that are going somewhere. If you do that, everything else will wrap themselves up and the right people are gonna come out and show you the way the village leaders are. But you have to, have to, have to understand that the village leaders or the village idiots are going to uh, try to stop you along the way and you have to fight through that. The best thing you can do is get rid of them all. Now, obviously that's not um, gonna 100% happen because you have friends and family that are unfortunately the village idiots. I have those in my life as well. I just limit my time with them as much as I possibly can. Good luck guys, if you're trying to start a business, shoot me a quick message below. I would love to hear about uh, what kind of business you're trying to start and I can maybe give you a couple quick tips as well. Don't hesitate to reach me at my website at mattbelducci.com or you can go follow me on Facebook and uh, Instagram at mattbelducci and obviously subscribe below and comment and good luck and I hope this helped you out. I'll talk to you later.